I am really excited about what I am sharing with you today. Last, a couple of weeks ago, I did some pork and cabbage spring rolls and they were an absolute hit. And last week I did avocado fries, which was very much left, left field, a little bit random, but also very well received. And today I am making dumplings. So I'm making chicken and vegetable dumplings. And dumplings are loved by so many families. And I think most people would probably buy them because they think that they're complicated to make, um, hard and time consuming. Yet they are a little bit time consuming, but they are so worth the effort. And especially when, if you're in lockdown, it's a really nice thing to do with the kids. My name is Whit Nixon from Wicked Wellbeing and I'm all about healthy eating made easy. And if you're just joining me, we are making chicken and uh, vegetable dumplings. Please say hello. And are you a dumpling lover? Is your family a dumpling lover? Do you make your own or do you buy them? I'd love to know. So what this is today, it's more about, I am going to put, you know, all the ingredients, throw all the ingredients together and make the dumplings. But it's also about the um, process of actually making the dumplings with the pastry. And if you are gluten free, then you need to stay on until, you know, the latter part of the video, because I'm going to show you an alternative to using these gluten dumplings. And it is beautiful and it would be my choice over these. So the recipe is coming out in my newsletter tomorrow night. If you're not already on my newsletter list and you want this recipe, then head to wickedwellbeing.com forward slash new. And I will post the link in the comments box below, but just go wickedwellbeing.com forward slash new, new, enter your details and then you'll get the email tomorrow night. So into my bowl, so you don't need to take down all the ingredients. Into the bowl here is some finely ground uh, chicken mince. We here, I have got some grated carrot. And if you don't like these veggies or you want to try something new, then by all means. Now this is finely grated, well chopped up spinach, um, cabbage. You do want it to be finely, finely chopped up because the, the pastry wrappers are actually quite small and so you don't want, and especially you don't want any core, so because that can quite make it quite coarse. So in my bowl here, look at that, you know, just beautiful, beautiful flavours. And then herbs, I've got coriander and mint. Use again whatever herbs that you have got. If you're just joining me, I would love to know, do you make your own dumplings or do you buy them? Or is it something that you have wanted to try, but someone said you say they've been scared to, and that's what I'm all about, breaking down those barriers. In my um, my sauces here, we've got soy sauce and Worcester sauce. If you're gluten-free, just make sure that those sauces are gluten-free. I've got rice wine vinegar, which is what I have here. I buy it from my local Asian food store. And then sesame oil, get ginger and garlic. So you can imagine those incredible flavours that are combined into these dumplings. It's so it is easier. It is definitely easier to buy your to buy them. But what you'll find is that you get more pastry than filling. And it is just such a satisfying process to go through to make your own. So good grinding of salt and pepper here. And then I am going to get my hands in here. And this is the easiest way I find to mix up the ingredients. And just to get those flavours and that mince. If you don't, if you um, prefer, you can use pork mince. Or if you're vegetarian, you can use tofu, which I've got some tofu here, which I also buy from my local Asian food store. I buy the hard tofu and I would just crumble it in. And sometimes if I haven't got enough mince, then I will crumble some tofu into this mixture and the kids, they don't know. They've got no idea. They won't eat tofu on, the, on their own, on its own, but they will eat it. And even the other day, Briar said, oh, mum, you've put all those vegetables into this mixture. And I was like, yeah, well, I've got to get veggies in. And she's like, oh, I'm not going to like them. 
because she's not a, a great vegetable lover. And she loved them. Mum, they're just so good. So these, this is the pastry that I buy. I get it again from my local food, Asian food store. I would imagine you can get it from the supermarket. I actually haven't looked. Now, I was wanting to get my husband in here to help with the video to bring the camera up closer, but it was just a little, little bit tricky. So I'm just going to move all of this around here to show you. So these come in little rounds, like so. So I'm just going to lay them across my bench, which has been cleaned. And then with, I've got a little bit of water here. Okay, I'm just going to use my finger and run it round half the edge, just half the edge of the dumpling wrapper. If you're watching me and you're wondering how you can get this recipe, it's coming out in my newsletter tomorrow night. So if you are not already a subscriber, head to wickedwellbeing.com forward slash new and I will, um, and you'll be able to register. I'll put the link below so that you don't have to remember it. But if you want to do it now, wickedwellbeing.com forward slash new. Now I've done about a teaspoon of mixture into the wrapper and then you fold it over and the wet, you don't want to overfill it. The wet pack, you know, the wetness that I went around the edge, you just crimp it. Can you see what I'm doing? I'm just crimping half of it. I've probably overfilled this a little bit. And yeah, I have. I just need to um, take a little bit of that. Not that I will, but I'll do another one and then we'll get on to the gluten-free option because that is the most exciting because so many gluten-free people just miss out on uh, eating dumplings. And honestly, my, the gluten-free option would be my choice by far. So I've, I've just done half on here. I'm folding it over and just crimping it, taking out anything that's going out the side. Tell me, while we're, while we're watching, see how I've just done that, half. And then I just put it onto a tray. So I've got my two dumplings there. Then to cook them, the instructions are all on the recipe, but to cook them, you put them in a pan with a little bit of oil and then you put the dumplings in, don't overfill the pan because they can, um, you don't want them to stick together. Pour some water in the bottom, like about uh, half a cup, if you're doing like a, a, you know, a good decent amount. And then you put the lid on and you steam them and the water evaporates and then you brown them a little bit. But as I say, the instructions are all on the, on the recipe that are coming, that's coming out tomorrow in my newsletter. If you're not already on that list, to head to wickedwellbeing.com forward slash new. Okay, now we're getting on to the gluten-free option. We use rice paper rounds. Well, they actually squares. So key, and I'm actually going to show you how to do it today. Last week, I, I didn't. Key is to have a damp tea towel, okay? I use these rice papers. Square is an absolute game changer. You really, um, round is a lot harder to use. I use, I've actually got boiling water in here, but if you're someone who can't handle hot, then make it as hot as you can handle. I take my rice paper round. Now, you're not gonna be able to see that, so I'll put my dumplings up here. I'm going to put this over here so that you can still see me doing the um, the round. Okay, so I'm holding my rice papers at the top. I've got a, a, a dish of boiling water in there or hot water. I don't let go, but I, I dunk it into the hot water. Okay, then I lie that down and it's gone all floppy because that's the heat that is... That is, because these are made out of rice papers. Now, normally with Vietnamese rice papers, you only use one. But because we need that extra strength, we're going to do two. So I'm putting that in. And honestly, I am just salivating at the just how amazingly tasty these are. I'm laying that one directly over top. Now, if you want smaller dumplings, you can cut that in half 
and then do smaller dumplings which are more similar to this sizing, right? But what I'm gonna do, you can, so you can either do them smaller or you can do them as a roll. And that's what I, I did the other day. And oh my goodness. So I am placing some mixture at the back. Here's my rice paper round. I'm placing mixture at the back and I've got a space on either side. And I've got a little bit of space at the back. I'm then gonna pick up my rice paper roll um, side and fold it in. I'm not going half, I'm going about a quarter. Okay, then I'm gonna pick up the other side and I'm gonna fold that in so they meet in the middle, they don't overlap. Then I'm picking up this end here and I am just rolling it. And because they are sticky, they just stick. And that's how you make a Vietnamese roll. But that's how you make a gluten-free, um, what are we making, dumpling. But as I say, this is a roll. So you could either, um, I'll do another one so that you can see. If you want to tune off, you've got all the information that you need, feel free to. But um, don't forget wickedwellbeing.com forward slash new to be getting this recipe directly into your inbox tomorrow night. So see how limp that is? If you've got a tear in your rice paper, then it does make it a little bit tricky. So if because we're layering one on top of the other, it doesn't matter so much. But if you're doing singular, for if you're doing Vietnamese noodles, uh, rice rolls, then I would just throw them out. I'm laying it straight over the top. Now, a really good key is not to use a white tea towel because I did a corporate workshop once and I used a white, I took a white tea towel because we made um, Vietnamese spring rolls and I couldn't see where the rice paper was, which is a bit of a, um, a challenge. So I've added, as I say, if you want them smaller, cut it down the middle. Otherwise go pick it up one side, pick it up the other and then just tightly roll it. Oh, I can't wait to have these for dinner tonight. And then all you do to cook them is a little bit of oil in a pan on a medium heat and you just, you know, rotate them so that you are getting them evenly cooked on each side and they're crispy and they're chewy and are you getting the picture? Now I want to know, is this, you know, recipe, will you make these? And is this a really great um, gluten-free alternative for you? Or were you hoping for a gluten-free? I'm not into making my own um, pastry. I just like, that is next level time consuming for me. So I'm just trying to make it really simple with ingredients that you'll already have in your pantry. And please, if you know that anybody will benefit from this, please share this video because I know that there are so many people out there who would love to make their own dumplings or especially a gluten-free option and they just um, haven't got the ideas or don't even know that this option is out there. Thank you so much for joining me slightly longer today but I can see that you've stayed on so I really appreciate it and head to wickedwellbeing.com forward slash new to get this recipe into your inbox tomorrow night. Thanks very much. See ya.